Pinot Noir for us in Burgundy, it's, uh, it's our DNA. Uh, without Pinot Noir, Burgundy does not exist. Obviously, Pinot Noir has one thing very clear, is smoothness, uh, elegance, delicacy. You never have a bottle of Pinot Noir which is black in color. Uh, if you want that, you go to, the, to other varieties of grape, Cabernet, Merlot, etc. But Pinot Noir is elegance, uh, vibration. Uh, so, Pinot Noir has been planted in different parts of the world. First, the base is of course Burgundy, uh, has been planted uh, in New Zealand, has been planted uh, in the United States, of course uh, uh, in uh, Oregon, obviously, but also uh, uh, in some part of Sonoma. Sonoma Coast, for instance, produced some very good Pinot Noir. And there is something in common, it is this this delicacy, this softness, this fruit, this, I, I should say, nearly this drinkability. Pinot Noir, when you drink a bottle of Pinot Noir, you have the impression that it's good for you. It's not something which is heavy, which is too powerful. It's something that gives you energy, full of life. Now, of course, there are different expressions of Pinot Noir. In Burgundy, you have Pinot Noir which has vibration, which is minerality, uh, vibration, very strong energy, life. Sometimes a little tannin, sometimes uh, need time to get smooth. Uh, usually not a wine that jump at you, but a wine that you step by step get inside yourself. The new world, of course, is a little different because there is not this long history. And of course, the, the Pinot Noir in New Zealand or in Oregon uh, has been there for only, let's say, 40, 50 years. So uh, he's new here. So he has not installed himself completely. In Burgundy, uh, Pinot Noir is at home. He has been there for such a long time and uh, he has mutated to get adapted to the place. In the New World, not yet. So right now, in the New World, what we have is that we have the fruit. We have the delicacy, uh, the purity of Pinot Noir, not yet the full complexity and the full vibration, but it will come step by step because, uh, again, uh, in producing wine, time is our friend. Maybe I'm not going to see it, maybe it's our grandchildren who will see it, but I see a great future for Pinot Noir in some part of the world, and especially part of the world which are not too warm. We like cold weather. We produce great Pinot Noir only if we have a, a weather which is a little cool. Again, it's the vibration. When, when it is too hot, uh, too easy, too, too warm, then poof, it's too, too rich, too powerful. At the opposite, you want this energy. You want, uh, you want a wine that, uh, uh, that, uh, that has vibration, that has life. And for that, you need rocks, and you need a weather which is a little cool, especially at the end of the maturity. That's what we have in Burgundy, so that's why Burgundy is so special.